You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question. And the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I mean, I want you to bleed. understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a sin. Like, I mean, not if sins bleed, not do they bleed red? To be do they else? bleed what color? One more because question. you just, you'll you know, me. you just, just poke You're Kasumi a Kasumi. little bit, get a little bit, you know, but get a, get a pin, poke her. Be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? Mm, no, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? You're treading on very personal territory. Back off. Okay. You're not ready to have this conversation. Whatever you believe, we will accept you for who you are, synth or human. I've heard enough. Where is Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia right. is open to you. Thank you, you Mr. Dialogue Man. The grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? Uh... I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like I'm worried about you. We need the key. Which way am I going? your weapons manufacturing going? War junk into something useful. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... you're what? You came all this way... for me? Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. <sighs> what do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Listen, do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? Little things. 
dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. <laughs> Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. You haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. Look, I get it. I they don't have any curious to bring their daughter back. And I wish I could. I really do. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on than just the refuge. I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running for long enough. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? Only That's when you leave you tapes me. everywhere. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Sister, there's a lot of things on this island more important than you. If you could just hold the jokes for a second. You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Personally, I find calculated mass murder to be very soothing. Look, help me out, and if I'm wrong, you can make all the Oh, Piper. Now, I've tried doing some digging on my own, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's okay. actually a storage space right so next to there. Dima the could be mean. spot to hide an eavesdrop. Uh, D.I. It's been locked up. In what I is that? Is that chemistry? Could it stand for something? So close, something. D.I. something. Okay. Eavesdropping on the next meeting sounds like our best bet. I'll see if I can find a way inside that room. Okay. Good luck. And Here we go. Come back as soon as you found anything. All right, kiddo. All objective markers are above. Katie is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? Every day is a struggle here. But at least we don't have to hide. Got it. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Oh. So which one of them is Faraday? this without bloodshed far harbor and the children of adam have a right to exist on this island the same as us they're going to kill each other dima there's no stopping it we need to pick a side now haven't we already picked a side building the fog condensers around far harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act we couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog just like you couldn't just leave the cult of adam without a home Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's gonna keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, 
Can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight. But at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have, but I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, come on, Pips. I realize you're in the armory. Surprisingly empty armory. Pips. Faraday's desk. Where is this? No, it's all above me. Katie is far away enough from the institute. Uh, Kellogg's down, so... I mean... The good news is... They... Yes... Hey, yeah, actually, some crafting Katie here. May not look we already looked at what we need to look at. Now... Somebody has an office that I need to break into. on the next floor up. some of your memories behind in an old submarine base that you're worried the children of Adam will get to them you um busy I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us huh I suppose you have maybe this is an opportunity for both of us I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia but you you're new to the island 
I'm picturing your memories as just one massive holotape that the children of Adam are using as a coffee table. I suppose that's your version of, yes, I'll help. Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me about Far Harbor? The children how old of Adam, are you? Is what I want to know. I want to know how old you are. You left your memory behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub base to the children of Adam. I thought they were safe. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock. And a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent. Right. And their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. That's unfortunate. The children of Adam on this island. You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. Rush. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the right. old command center. Guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental yeah, network. We, we already know this. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I've already heard this. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing yeah, it for he yourself. Doesn't, he doesn't know. But. Actually, I already have the program. I was thorough. Well. I guess that just means I've picked the right person for the job. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. They wouldn't stand a chance anyway. Chase. Okay, now I go and talk to, to the chick. Kasumi! Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. They'll definitely try. What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? 
some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. If all I find in those memories is just a hundred years worth of Dima staring at a wall, I'd be really annoyed. Well, if you did, that's almost good, right? That means they're harmless. Anyway, good luck. Here we go. 500 caps. Not bad. Oh, this way. Oh boy. Go and not start an inter cult war, I guess. Although I kind of, you know, I wouldn't necessarily think that wiping out the children of Adam is a bad thing. I mean, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> 